Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make bagels with your sourdough starter. So if you're interested, let's get started. So we're gonna start out by putting all the wet ingredients, the water, the sourdough starter, the honey, and the salt into the bowl of a stand mixer. And then we're gonna give that a good stir to, to distribute all the ingredients. And then you're gonna to wanna to add your flour. Now I go ahead and mix this with my hands just to get all those ingredients kind of incorporated with each other. And then you're gonna to wanna to put it uh, on your stand mixer with the dough hook attachment and mix this on the lowest speed for about six to seven minutes. You can see it's a very stiff dough. You can do this by hand, and if you do it by hand, you're going to want to uh, knead it on the counter for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now I'm just popping my starter back in the fridge. You can see this is a very stiff dough. So all we're gonna do is simply just take that dough hook off and you can see it in the bottom of the bowl. I'm just gonna leave it in this uh, stand mixer bowl because I do have a cover for it. Just cover that up and let it sit on the counter overnight. So now that the dough has fermented overnight for up to about 12 hours at room temperature, go ahead and divide it into eight equal pieces. And I've got a uh, baking sheet lined with parchment paper that we're gonna set these on. So this is really, really easy. I'm just taking each piece and forming it into a ball. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then take your thumb and poke a hole th right through the center and then gently just shape it into a bagel shape. And then place that on the parchment paper. And you're gonna repeat with all eight pieces. We'll go ahead and speed the next few up so you can just see how they're shaped. And don't worry if the uh, hole in the bagel kind of closes up as it's rising in the next phase because when you go to boil the bagels, you can kind of gently just stretch it out ever so slightly before you put it right into the water. Okay, so I'll do this next one in real time just so you can see how easy this is. I'm just pulling the, the sides into the center, rolling it over, and just using my hands to make a little ball. There's no flour on the counter. And then using my thumb to poke that hole right in the middle. So once you have all these shaped and on the baking sheet, you're going to cover them with a tea towel or some kind of kitchen towel and just let those rest for like 30 to 60 minutes. You just want them to become puffy and raise slightly. And go ahead and get a pot of water ready. You want it to be probably about three inches deep and you're gonna put a tablespoon of sugar in it. So when this comes to a boil, you're going to boil each one of the bagels for two minutes on each side. So don't overcrowd the pot. I have my large stock pot, so I was able to put four in at a time. Just make sure it's not crowded. And then while these are boiling, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. 
I believe that's 218 Celsius. Once the bagels come out of the boiling water and they've had a chance to cool down to where you can handle them, you're gonna want to dip one side of them in whatever toppings that you like. For this batch, I did uh, the everything bagel seasoning and I did some with just sesame seeds. But you could do them plain. You could sprinkle just a little bit of salt on top. Um, you could do poppy seeds. Just anything that you want. But this recipe comes together pretty quickly because you can be topping these while the other ones are boiling. And you can see those other ones I'm flipping over to cook the two minutes on the other side. So once they're all done and you've got everything topped, you're going to pop these into the oven for 25 minutes, maybe a few more minutes. You just need to keep an eye on them. You want to bake them until they're nice and golden. So once they're done, just remove them from the oven and let them sit for a minute until you can handle them. All right, so that's how easy it is. Look how yummy these bagels look. You can use all kinds of different seeds toppings for these. I like the um, everything bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's, but I also just like plain uh, sesame bagels. This is actually my favorite kind of bagel. And the way that I like to eat bagels are toasted with some cream cheese and a nice slice of a homegrown tomato. So I really hope that you enjoy this recipe and I hope you give it a try. And if you do, let me know how it goes in the comment section below. And as always, we will put a link to the recipe in the description box, and that will have all the measurements in grams and in cups for convenience. So until next time, bye.